am sitting here in the National Park Berchtesgaden, which is in uh, the Alps of Germany. This is the National Park um, where I also climbed at least parts of it of the Watzmann. So I always had um, a little thing with this mountain here and uh, now after, I don't know, like three, four years since the last time that I tried it, uh, and the last time wasn't really that I was planning to climb it, I just wanted to go and hike around. But then I saw this mountain and I was like, yep, let me go to the top there. Uh, not really digging into too much um, information on what I w was required to go to the top. Because I was climbing it uh, with jeans and van shoes and uh, I had this pullover, uh, which is a good one though. Um, and that was it. I was not prepared at all. Uh, and uh, yeah, but ever since I always wanted to climb that mountain uh, and now I'm here actually and tomorrow I'm starting with the climb. kind of misty now um, let's hope that clears up but made it to that and it's not even four so I got an hour and 30 minutes more before I'm meeting with the guides maybe he's already here too though This is my room where I'm sleeping tonight. Tomorrow morning, uh, standing up at 6, uh, having breakfast at 6.30. And then at 7, we are going up to the Watzmann. So it's the Traverse, so it's uh, over three peaks. The guy that I have, Klaus, is a pretty cool guy. And uh, I think we'll make a good team tomorrow to get successfully to the top.
you can see mm -hmm. uh, oh, the recordings as well. Yes. Yeah. So me and uh, the guide, Klaus, just separated ways. Um, I mean, I'm gonna take some time here uh, to take some videos and some photos. And uh, I mean, from here on, it's just an easy hike actually down. Uh, really, really cool guides. Most guides are pretty awesome people. Um, and again, uh, I found this guide uh, through Explore Share. So. I know I've recommended them quite a few times already in my vlogs and for good reason. <laughs> I really every time had such an amazing experience with them. If you are looking for uh, any guides uh, and they offer guiding tours on not just uh, mountaineering but also like kayaking, rafting, ice climbing. Uh, which I actually am kind of looking into. <laughs> it's just a, a cool platform. Uh, to find like outdoor adventures on so yeah um, but I will link them down below in the description the Watsman yeah finally did it this one this one has been on the list for quite a long time I wouldn't say it's for beginners actually um, because uh, Klaus was actually telling me as well that they uh, removed parts of the Via Ferrata so of the metal cable um, they removed parts of it uh, on the top so I guess here's the part where they removed, or not? Because there's like a metal... Yeah, yeah, also here, yeah. also here. And so they wanted people to fall in there. <laughs> and the reason why is they wanted to make it less safe in a way, to make it more safe, because uh, there were so many people on it uh, before uh, that a lot of accidents happened. And a lot of beginners, people with no experience at all, uh, went on it because they thought it was kind of easy and safe to do and that's why they actually removed some parts of the of the via ferrata cable to make it a bit more difficult and to show the actual level you need so i would say it's more an intermediate climb like the alpspitze would be like a beginner mountain uh, this is more like after that i would say um but then it's a really impressive mountain actually uh yeah it's a fun one i think i'm gonna enjoy my sandwich here with this super beautiful view surrounded with mountains everywhere and then I'm gonna hike uh, to the car and take a shower <laughs> I'm about to leave actually back home um, but for anyone uh, going I mean like the national park here where the Watsman is Berchtesgade um, I'm not pronouncing that correctly like in a German way but uh, you know Berchtesgade um, it's a super beautiful national park um, and I wanted to actually give some additional tips to just uh, even if you don't want to climb the Watsman uh, it's still an extremely stunning National Park with uh, hiking routes for any level. 
uh, even for people in a wheelchair. So, um, and um, uh, just wanted to give a few tips on recommendations. Um, so here, uh, the Koningse, uh, here is a parking spot. And that's actually where I'm parked uh, right now. It's uh, quite a big one with quite a lot of space. Yeah, so you can park your car here. And then here's the Koningse, which is uh, a beautiful, beautiful uh, lake. And you can take it, a boat here, and go here to this uh, hut here, uh, where you can also eat, and uh, it's a little church there. Uh, it's really beautiful, and then you can hike around here. Uh, but you can also keep going, uh, and you can go to here, to number 11. And this is the Obersee this year, this lake. Um, and it's as well extremely beautiful. And you can go and hike here around and then return back, right? And then you can take the boat back to here or just go directly back uh, to uh, here. So that's a very um, accessible for any one uh, kind of route to take. Uh, it's kind of a touristy thing to do, of course. Um, but it's so beautiful that I could recommend it to anyone. Uh, I would recommend you actually to come not in the weekends, but in the week, if you can, of course. Because uh, in the weekends it can be uh, too busy, way too busy, that it's kind of annoying. Uh, way too, too many people, um, which is a good thing in a way to show that it's really beautiful here, right? Uh, but if you can go in the week, that's the best days to come. Uh, not Friday, Saturday and Sunday, especially not Sunday. Way too busy then. Uh, and this map here, because um, it shows like uh, all the hiking routes and you can see um, people four in a wheelchair, uh, easy high, easy walks. So the blue lines are for like easy walks. Uh, th these are the more yeah, difficult ones and that are the challenging mountain hikes. Uh, so it's very clear actually uh, to see uh, where you can go to and this map you can you can get it for free in a tourist center which is here in uh, at the parking area of uh, the Koning Zee. Uh, I can put some coordinates uh, down in the description of this vlog so you know that that's where you can find uh, the exact location where this parking spot is it's not too hard though um, but uh, there is also tourist information center where you can get this map and uh, I did not found it anywhere where you could just take it so you had to actually go to one of the people working there and ask them for this map so just ask for a map uh, with hiking trails of Berchtesgade and it's a free one so they will give it to you uh, and let me also actually show um, the trail that I took for the Watsman to do the crossing the traverse uh, so you know uh, for those watch watching, uh, wanting to do the Watsman. Um, so I parked my car here in Wimbrachbroeke. And I hiked here, this blue route, which is easy. Uh, first start here, and then went further on, taking the red route, to uh, 19, which is the Watsman house. And that's where I met up with my guides and then slept there for one night. And then in the morning uh, at 6.30 um, or 7, 7 a.m., uh, we went here over the crossing and uh, yeah, went over all the three uh, uh, peaks. And then from here, we went like that, uh, past this hut. And uh, well, actually here, me and the guide split it up um, as I wanted to take some more videos and photos. And then after that, I just uh, went all this way here uh, t -t 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 -t, back to the parking. So it's kind of like a loop. I mean, it is a loop. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful, like here in the valley. Ooh, it's so beautiful. You're just surrounded by mountains. It's amazing. And uh, yeah. And in total, um, from Wimbrachbroeke to the Watsman House was five hours. And then the crossing uh, and all the way back, um, I'm not quite sure. We stood up at 7 and I was back at uh, 4. So that was like 5, like 9 hours. This was like about 9 hours, 8 or 9 hours. 
uh, yeah, and that's the route that we took, uh, which was incredible. Um, so that that's a few things. Um, I'm gonna go and drive now back. Uh, it's a 10 hour uh, drive to uh, my hometown and uh, Yeah, and then this adventure here of the of climbing the Watsman finally uh, Finally managed to do it now is done